the game slowing down for you a little bit now that you're a couple starts in? Uh, definitely, you know, getting out there, uh, seeing things a lot better. The team's making it real easy on me, a lot of confidence in the guys around me. So having a lot of fun, seeing the field a lot better, game slowing down most definitely. Obviously, you put up a really good number Saturday. Uh, looking back, watching the film, did you feel like uh, you made all the right reads and made all the right decisions? Um, I thought first first quarter I struggled a little bit. Um, I could have had a lot uh, better throws, left some crumbs on the table, especially to Boone. Probably thinks I don't like him, but uh, he, he ran some great routes. Just overthrew him a few times. Can't do that going forward, but, um, you know, stats are stats. You know, whatever it takes to get the win. I mean, I could have thrown for 50 yards and been happy if we won. So just just excited to, to play my role, and, and whatever that takes week to week, I'm willing to do it. So. You obviously saw the play, but did OJ remind you that they weren't covering that route over and over again? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, I, I couldn't believe it. I just I just kept seeing OJ wide open. I was like, when are these guys going to learn? And I get the ball to him, and he makes people miss, and it was the same result. Um, and I just all night long, he was, he was doing a great job getting open, just like the, our other receivers. I think they played with a bunch of confidence, and, and uh, that's, that's really what we needed, and, and uh, we were really clicking. Um, who else for that, on that position group stood out? You said you missed Boom, but it seemed like Dan had a touchdown. Um, I think that that group maybe needed a, a big game just as much as your, the rest of your offense did. Definitely. I think, I think um, just all together on the offense, you know, we put in really good week, two weeks of practice that really correlated on the field, and that's nice to see, especially how the wide receiver groups are very physical on the perimeter. Uh, they made a lot of big plays, you know, ran great routes from top to bottom. You know, you said nine, nine people caught different passes, you know. That's just a testament of how hard they work from, from you know, first, second to everybody. Uh, O-line as well did a great job being physical, really got the run game going, and, and uh, it was a big night for us. I was Christian this, but just, you know, about playing a, Sunbelt, a couple of Sunbelt teams here in a row, I mean, how big is that for you guys just kind of getting a chance to – um, you know, prove yourself such everything that happened. Definitely, it was a chip on our shoulder to go play a, a Sunbelt team. Now that we're not in the conference, you know, um, you know, just like any game, we're we're here to win. But maybe there's a little bit more of an edge, you know, going into this game and as a team getting ready for it. Definitely. What's your relationship been like with uh, Chase, and how much has Coach Holbrook helped you during the the transition from reserve to starter? Definitely, uh, the Coach Holbrook, uh, you know, he's. He's a great coach. He's been there. He's done it. You know, he has a real awesome perspective on the game because of, you know, how great he was here, you know, and how great he was at the position. So so hearing and learning from him has been huge for each one of the quarterbacks. And, and it just I've learned so much from him and, and hope to continue that and will continue to do that. So. What do you think of Louisiana so far? What have you noticed from them defensively? They're real athletic, uh, big and athletic like they usually are. I think uh, our focus is just going to have to be to out-execute them, you know, um, to to make sure that we don't beat ourselves, but to execute because they are going to make some plays and we're going to have to turn around and make some plays too. So, yeah. Are they a pressure team, I thought? I mean, I thought your offensive line was better than Liberty's defensive line, but it sounds like the, this one's defensive line might be a little bit better than Liberty's. Yeah, their defensive line is, they're, you know, they're strong, they're lengthy, like C. Gibbs said, you know, they're, um, they do a lot of good things. They do bring some pressure looks, you know, just going to have to be ready for that back there, just going to have to see it before it happens and, and be able to throw off of it. I think that if we just execute, we do what we can, you know, continue to get physical day by day, I think by the time they come around, we'll be ready. Do you think as the season goes on and you continue, if you can continue to move the football, will that open things up for, for Christian in the running game? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, C. Gibbs is just a uh, you know, workhorse. You know, all the other guys, too, uh, Jason Huntley, Royce Caldwell. You know, anytime you can pass the ball effectively, it just makes the linebackers and the safeties just a little bit more hesitant on what they're doing. And, and you know, uh, it's a game of inches now, you know. So when – when those backers, those safeties are hesitant, there's a crease. And those guys are going to hit it full speed and they're going to hit it strong every single time. I thought it was important for you to score touchdowns in this last game. You guys were four for four in the red zone. Is that, you know, was that a focus for you during the week too? Just finishing drives with touchdowns? Yeah, well, our, our red zone percentage hasn't been great, you know, before this game. So it was definitely a focus of ours to, to when we get, we know we were moving the ball pretty well 
when we get to the red zone to really finish off drives. And I thought we did a great job of that. You know, defense put us in a couple of really good positions to do that, which hats off to them. They, they two turnovers are huge. Um, and, and to be able to just cash in in the red zone is really a focus of ours every week. And it was nice to see us pay it off. So. Ken, do you have any questions for Josh? Um, yeah, I just wanted to ask you, you know, kind of obviously you've got two starts under your belt now. I mean, how, how has your mindset changed in the last three weeks from, you know, from where you were to where you are now? Definitely. Uh, two starts under, under my belt just definitely gives me a lot more confidence, you know, going into the third game. I think my leadership role needs to be um, even bigger now, uh, just just kind of to gain more respect and, and continue to to uh, take that quarterback role as serious as possible and, and continue to grow. And I think uh, as a team, we're really coming together right now. And, and I think if we can continue to do that, we can really have a great season. So.